Chris, we're more than halfway through Oshkosh 2018. It's been a great week, a lot of innovation, a lot of interesting things. A lot of it's been incremental. But if there's a revolution happening right now, it seems to be happening within Continental. What it comes down to is a conversation I had with one of your compatriots that the engines that we saw decades ago, they may look like what we have now, but they're completely different. And you're looking to take it even further. Tell me what's happening with Continental. So we're, what we've done is we've really listened to customers. and. Um, the customers are, are saying, you know, where is that innovation? So we have a, a staff of very, very talented engineers that have been improving our processes, our alloys, and improving the quality. And people are saying that. People that are replacing their engines and in, in their barons and older airframes, they're like, your new engines are performing way better. What's up? And it's, it's all those refinements of those engines. But at the same time, we're listening to our customers and they want more choices out there. So we've created Continental Prime for OEM parts. Now, these are our parts that are made in the same factory that all your Continental parts are made. But we're improving those parts through using our processes, using our quality system. And it's certified through a PMA, but it's really an OEM-like part but it's very attractive for the people that have Lycoming engines. And then when we bring in our Jet A product, tremendous amount of interest in the Jet A product. We've been absolutely inundated with, with people. It's been a fantastic show, but always a lot of interest there, not just in the rest of the world, but even in North America now, more and more interest year after year. You're in the process of a massive upheaval in your operations facility, the plant. This is not only a huge investment in capital, but it's a massive investment in technology and in the way that you're going to be presenting engines from here on out. This is the kind of technology that we see within the automotive industry where we're talking hundreds of thousands, even eventually millions of engines, but you're bringing it down to the aviation industry where the repeatability, the accuracy is going to be phenomenal. Uh, this had to be a tough step. It was, and you know, to reassure our customers out there, we're not expecting an upheaval. We have a very detailed plan of how we're going to bring this new factory, which is a $70 million investment for uh, Continental. We will not put away the old factory until the new factory has got everything running at, at full capacity. We went and benchmarked at least 15 different companies from motorcycles to recreational engines and automobiles to that millions of engines per year. And what we found, what was very consistent was after 10,000 per year, after you start scaling, it's replicating just more cells. So we've concentrated on bringing the aviation engine business into the 21st century and then picking those things that are gonna allow us the flexibility with the broadest product line that we have. We needed that flexibility, but bringing the quality and throughput that only the newest technology can bring. So it's exciting times. In the meantime, though, you've been really pushing uh, a number of different product lines, a number of different technologies. Let's go through each of the current product lines and what you're doing right now to push the limits there. I think what people know us most for is the large, most powerful engines, which are Continental Motors, you know, the, the black and gold. We continue to make improvements in those. We've added the NIC3, or the NICE cylinders, which is taking nickel, silicon carbide treatment of those cylinders. It's an unmatched warranty. For a few hundred dollars more per cylinder, you know, we're going out five years on those cylinder warranties, and that corrosion will migrate. So. You know, we brought that technology and put it into those engines, and, and we spoke earlier about the other upgrades and alloys and, and other things. The Continental Prime product line, we're expanding that. We have roller tappets, roller camshafts, the angle valves, so giving customers choice for their Lycoming engine with an OEM backed warranty and quality system. People are really taking notice that we've upped the game with, with Continental Prime. As people are walking around Oshkosh 2018, they're jumping from the Rotax to the Lycoming to the Continental and, and other uh, secondary engine manufacturers that are out there. What do you want them to know about Continental now for the sport and general aviation community and where it's going from here? You know, all of us make good engines. What we're trying to do is bring the innovation to the level that hasn't been seen. 
we are certainly investing in not only new products, but into the infrastructure to build it at a higher level. We want the customers to realize that we're here for the long haul and that we stand behind our product in every instance so they can feel comfortable with their choice of picking Continental. Does all this investment, does all this planning, does all this technology and kind of risking certain aspects of your future by putting all this into the, to uh, future planning and all, does this signal your confidence in the fact that there is a good future for general aviation and business aviation and sport aviation as applies to the Continental line? There are a couple areas of, of very fascinating growth and that is pilot training. And if you look at that market and you, and you listen to some of these announcements of, of training schools and the amount of planes that are being purchased there, you know, that's a, that's a very interesting thing right now. And, and I, I can't see until, you know, we can all teleport like in Star Trek, aviation is going to be the quickest way to one place to another. So I, I think that that, until we get to fully autonomous and we, you know, sit back in our, our car like, you know, push the button, send me here type of thing, we're gonna need pilots. So I, I think for the next 10 to 20 years, we're gonna need pilots. Um, and then the Jet A, I mean, the infrastructure's already there. It's certainly cheaper. Nobody wants lead out there anymore. So it, it's, it's very precarious and, and we feel very positioned well in that and, and saw that that's the way of the future. Um, so I'm, we're really bullish that we have the, the right strategy going for the 5, 10. Um, you know, after 10, if I could borrow your crystal ball, I, you know, I'll compare it to mine, but we feel great about the, the near term and we're keeping our eye and, and laying our plans just as we've shared what we have right now. We're building those plans for the long term as well. Well, somebody who's spent all their lives uh, in aviation and absolutely entranced by everything that's going on, we thank you for the confidence because we need you. We need everybody to think that there's a future, build for the future, plan for the future, and be the future. Well, we're happy to be a part of it. Aero TV is brought to you by There's never been a better time to become a pilot. At the Sling Pilot Academy, you can get your private, commercial, and instrument ratings in nine months for less than $63,000 and do it in modern, fun airplanes. Your flight training is going to be as exciting as your future career as an airline pilot. SlingPilotAcademy.com